Good afternoon, everyone. I've got a glow plug one today. We don't normally show too much diagnostics on the channel, but I've sort of dabbled into it a little bit because it's what you guys want to see. So I've got four glow plugs. This is out of a diesel engine of a 68 plate. So it's the fairly uh, recent diesel engine of a Passat. So you've got three glow plugs. You've got normal looking ones, like this one and this one. And then you've got a pressure sensor. This just measures cylinder pressure as a separate control unit. So this test isn't really accurate on this glow plug, but it definitely is on one, two, and four. So that's what I'm going to show you now. So we've got a faulty glow plug, just the one. But I always advise all four to be replaced. If one's going, the rest aren't far behind. So what we can do is we can set our multimeter to resistance there. And that's all, you know, it's an auto ranging multimeter, so don't panic too much. So you take one multimeter, so it's quite hard on a uh, one-handed, we'll do it. So your negative will go on the body of the glow plug. That's just where it grounds out. So that's where the head would normally be, it'd be bottled into the head. And then the top bit goes there like that. And if you look there, You've got some resistance, which is exactly what you want. You're gonna need some form of resistance. And that glow plug's all right, according to Volkswagen spec. If I do all of them, or all three of them, see if you can see which one is not happy. So that's on, as you can see there, negatives on the shaft. And that's absolutely no resistance. So that's showing open circuit. And then if you go on to number four, so like I say, we can't test number three the conventional way. So number four, Again, earth on the body, positive on the top, and we've got the right amount of resistance according to the Volkswagen manufacturer's spec there. So, if we have a look at the number two again, which is the fault. Again, earth on there, positive. Open circuit, so that's, what, that's what's gone wrong. That in, in, it's internally gone open circuit, causing it not to glow up. And obviously all feedback on these modern diesel engines is gonna go straight to a control module and then give it a whoops, we fell over, this needs sorted. So like I say, we only have to change one technically, but best practice is always best to change all four, just like you would change spark plugs in all four. You'd never just change one spark plug. It's a bit counterproductive, really. So that was just a quick test on glow plugs. I don't think I've shown it on the channel, and I thought I'd bring along the multimeter, the glow plugs, and just a little bit of basic electrical testing, which is gonna get people out of uh, a sticky situation if you think your glow plugs are dead. Obviously, all manufacturer specifications can and will be different. So make sure you get the right details before worrying that your glow plug's dead and it's actually not. So thank you very much, guys, for coming along. I hope it's helped. Chuck down in the comments anything you want to see, any feedback, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. So thank you very much. Stay safe and have a cracking weekend.